absolutely. So, so high blood pressure, hypertension, uh, these are this is no question that's one of our quote unquote kidney killers. That that uh, sustained high blood pressures will puts a lot of stress and strain on the kidney function, and will start to create uh, so um, tubular damage. So the the actual meat of the kidney, the actual uh, functioning portion of the kidney, will start to decline over time. And that's in fact what what Dr. Desponde deals with a lot. And so uh, you know, being on your blood pressure medications is extremely important. Making sure you keep your blood pressure below a certain threshold, um, exercise, losing weights, these are all extremely important for for kidney protection. Uh, so obviously, the, the patient that's a diabetic who's uh, has a is is morbidly obese, these are the patients that are more more likely than not to end up with some kind of kidney dysfunction over time. Um, and just to go back to the other questions, you know, like like Dr. Spondi said, I have I always get asked how much water should I really drink, uh, and that and I think probably if I had a dime every time I heard that it would be <laughs> great. Uh, but it, it's it's a it, it's a it's a uh, it's it's a basically a loaded question. It really depends on your patient. So I, I had tend to see a lot of kidney stone patients because of my my area expertise my area of expertise is kidney. Uh, diseases and and, uh, and uh, surgical kidney uh, situations. So kidney stones are, are very common amongst my patients, and those are patients that we definitely want to have drink a lot of water because we want to dilute out as much of the uh, the crystals as possible. On the other hand, we also have patients that don't have good kidney function to begin with and have high blood pressure, and now they also have kidney stones. Now we're sort of a rock and a hard place. These are patients that ideally should be drinking a lot of water, but then if I have them drink too much water, then we have the other situation was where they get volume overloaded or fluid overloaded and they have also big issues. So may, may, uh, to cut to the chase here, Ryan, you know, the blood pressure is absolutely important when it comes to kidney function. It's super important to, to uh, watch your blood pressure on a regular basis, not just for your kidneys, but other important um, uh, uh, activities in your body. Um, and, you know, I, we can't stress enough that uh, exercise and losing weight uh, are, are extremely uh, important parts of that as well.